the hot job market is starting to cool off. That's what today's February unemployment report is expected to show. Economists predict that 100,000 jobs were added to U.S. payrolls last month. That would be the smallest increase in more than two years. Breaking news, the new jobs report shows U.S. employers added only 12,000 new jobs in October. That is much lower than normal. The Bureau of Labor says hurricanes and worker strikes are to blame. This shows the labor market picked up speed uh, again after those hurricanes and strikes slowed yep. it down the month before. Big rebound here, obviously, from October when we did have the weather issues. We had a strike at Boeing. We had other issues going on. And they revised October's numbers a little bit higher. But this shows stability in the labor market, 227,000 jobs. As you see that little spike in unemployment, yep. that's more people potentially looking for work, for work, the way the Labor Department calls up homes and says, are you actually looking for work, anybody in your home? Little spike there. I wouldn't make too much of it. The background is that, as I mentioned, the U.S. economy is doing very well. We're in a very good place with the economy. We're growing at, you know, around two and a half percent. Uh, and inflation has come down. Uh, headline inflation was as high as 7.2 or so. Now it's at 2.3 percent. Uh, and unemployment's at 4.1 percent, which is a little higher than it was a couple years ago, but it's still near very, it's a very, very low level. And, you know, we're not quite there on inflation, but we're still making progress. So the, the, the backstory is that the U.S. economy is in, is in very good shape, and there's no reason for that not to continue. Apple shares are just getting hammered this morning. We're down by between 3 and 4.5% and generally across these markets. Let's talk about the speed with which we are watching this market deteriorate. We read everywhere, essentially, down by 4 or 5%. We're down over 16%. Dow, at the same time, has fallen about 18%. The stock market is now down 21 percent. Because we're now down 43 percent. What in the world is happening on Wall Street? Two-year no yields went from 190 to 166 in the blink of an eye. The Nasdaq, everything and more has been completely wiped out. It was the worst day on Wall Street since the crash of 1987. Something which looked to be a very solid edifice and indeed a critical pillar to market competition and free markets did break down, and I think that, uh, as I said, shocked me. I still do not fully understand why it happened. A lot of Americans may feel that we've been in a recession for some time, and now, according to the National Bureau for Economic Research, they would be right. That private, not-for-profit group has declared that a recession began in December of 2007. The issue is that some people have been saying it for a long time. Many uh, economists and experts have been saying that December or January is likely when this recession starts. Uh, started, according to the National Bureau of Economic Research, which is the body that officially gets to say it's a recession, uh, December 2007 is when it started. Here's the interesting thing. In November of 2007, our CNN opinion research polls indicated that Americans for the first time felt that the economy was issue number one. And it was the first time that our, uh, our respondents had said that we were in a recession or more than 50% of respondents said so. In fact, in December of 2007, more than 57% of our respondents to the national poll said that we were in a recession. Christine, walk us through what we see there and what you're seeing in these exit polls. I know, Tom sees me geeking out over here. No, I, it's, it's fascinating. <laughs> I love it. No, it really is. So the condition of the U.S. economy, these, and remember, these are people who actually voted. I think it's really important to make that distinction again. We've been asking people in opinion polls for two years now about how they feel. These are people who actually voted. So. This is the clearest view of how people are feeling in the voting booth or when they're filling out uh, their mail-in ballot. So uh, not so good to poor. Look at that number, 67% um, there. That's a big number. That's the biggest number we've seen in terms of poor and not so good in the last uh, three or four cycles here. Uh, only 5% say excellent, which is pretty interesting.
And so, no, you know, this is the world we live in. I am always surprised that people are so surprised that we have cycles and things like that. So the real question is what's new and what's different. So I'm going to speak quick, quickly. What's new is there was a housing bubble. The first person, as Warren Buffett says, who was swimming naked out there, you find out swimming naked when the tide goes down. The first person swimming naked was subprime. That ended up in CDOs, CIVs, and these insurance companies and uh, filled it through the markets, ABCP. That's the new part. And it's got all these new ramifications. It hasn't quite happened this way. Mistakes were made. What's not new? Uh, there's a liquidity crisis. All risky assets reprice. A lot of the problem, even in subprime, was people financing things short that were liquid assets on balance sheets. Uh, uh, so some of these, there's a panic. The markets go down, the R word, recession, uh, takes place. And I mentioned a bunch of these crises. Remember, they didn't all cause recessions. So I know there's a lot of conversation about what this will do, and I'll, I'll leave that to the economists. So there are differences, there are obviously similarities. A couple of lessons learned. You know, a lot of assets become a liquid very quickly.